what's going to make 300 more special than this Saturday night? You know what I mean? The last pay-per-view of the year. Uh, so there, there's a lot more that goes into it than just the card. But what you can expect is the first prelim of the night for you to be going like, holy <laughs> this is the first prelim of the night? This is insane. This isn't even right. These two shouldn't be on the first prelim of the night. That's how good 300 is going to be. Conor McGregor hasn't fought since July 2021, and both him and his former rival Dustin Poirier want to step up on UFC 300. And according to Dana White, it's highly possibility that this card will be the greatest ever, and in today's video we'll discuss the rumors and find out how this card looks like. We'll be having 8 or 9 fights before main card starts and as Dana Bolt said, we would be shocked from bell to bell. We already heard that Bo Nichols fighting April 13 and Dana Bolt confirmed. Imagine him taking that fight with someone with no striking threat, top 15 and big name. Yes guys, Paul Leglock Craig vs Bo Nickel in opening prelims. Alright, let's get the show started! It's time, Tony. We all saw how bad Tony was beaten even by Perry, so it's hard to imagine him beating someone, except of Hasbik or Abdurozik. And even Jim Miller seems to be a bad option for former boogeyman. UFC can organize another farewell fight for Ferguson for 300 and it may still be a Nate Diaz rematch or another interesting option. That's fucking illegal! I actually wanted to see any of them fighting Tony in his last ever UFC bout, but dude, they would absolutely kill both him and Goggins in an opening round. So the best case scenario for Irish Dragons comeback is Jim Miller, crazy veterans and legends of the game, and it would be an ideal ending career fight for both men. And I'm gonna start this one from recent winner. Cody no fear Garbrandt who finally put his opponent's lights off and his future opponent Davison the God of War Figueredo who recently exposed Rob Fon. UFC already approved this one and it would be an absolute banger unless Cody decides to trade. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. UFC 300 is more about media than actual matchmaking. It's a horrible fight for ex-champion, but very likely to happen. Sterling moves up to 145 and fights Kelvin Ketter or someone who almost finished Bryce Mitchell's life in that cage. Emmett's almost 40, but he's bricks on top. And if this right overhand connects, Aljo will be put into another dimension. So Ketter is the better option as for me. Rob Font's been beaten up crazy by a newcomer, Figueredo. He's been dominated everywhere, Font's jab was not there that night and all he had against Figgy is 1-2, which missed, so Brazilian easily outsmart and outworked Vostro. Font's title ambitions already done, but I have decent option for him and his future potential opponent. Dominator hasn't fought since that crazy Vera head kick finish and he's 40 soon. Both on a loose streak, Fonz got 1-4 in his last 5 fights and I think they match each other well. GSP returns in prelims, taking on Nick Diaz finally. Are you crazy in your head, man? Okay, I'm joking. No, GSP in prelims. Never. That was weird. How can we not witness a single 55 fight, especially on UFC 300? Tarantula recently pounded Bobby Green to the death, increasing his rankings. And he may receive some interesting options, like Darius, but most likely Moicano or Saint Denis. It's up to Dana. The final one in prelims, Wonder Boy must be active unless he wants to retire. He's already 40 and with Santa Luke ain't got fight booked, so they may book it once again. As well as Sean Brady who recently put an amazing performance. But I do not think Thompson would welcome another wrestler, so Luke a rematch is a solid option knowing the fact Cook fighting Neil. I'll start it from the code. There can't be title fights in Conor McGregor. Cut. In opening fight to the main card, many people suggest Colby Covington's washed fighter and he's done, but he went 5 rounds with champion, taking both championship rounds, not being rocked even once. I think Colby returns soon and he'll be 36 by the time UFC 300 starts and I've got two real options for him, Dustin Poirier at 170 or Shavkat Rahmon. These fights are different, but Colby will definitely accept Poirier and after such performance from Chaos, DP should accept this one and his chances definitely increased. 
Dana did not like Colby's performance and may force him to fight Shafkat, or Colby will be cut from top 5. It's easily. Meanwhile, Chaos wants to fight Bonderboy. That's fucking illegal! Tom Espinel vs Cyril Gain To defend interim belt. Is it a possibility or not? I'm not sure either. So I would propose another banger. Brock Lesnar against CM Punk for eternal belt. Hold on. Third fight is definitely Dustin Poirier. He should be in the list and this time we ain't discussing his highly anticipated clash against Covington. Diamond said he needed something that burns that fire inside him and it's not Armand Sarukan. Gage will be waiting his whole life for that shot. But this potential trilogy is must watch for such a tournament. But mostly it may be Nate Diaz. Diaz recently tweeted he's back so it means it's for Connor or Dusty. Not good enough for Komain but well deserved for this place. Oh and we definitely forgot about the blessed one who may also be in this card. Alex Pereira is one of the most violent and chaotic fighters ever and if he gives you a chance for another belt you must take it. Edesana. Come to daddy. Izzy's father finished another champion and he's an active killer. He likes fresh meat 3-4 times a year. But it's a title fight so it means no Connor in this card. Yes guys, I understand that Mr. Bolt may do some stuff to save his money and this potential fight may be his backup if McGregor is not sober enough. <laughs> And potential Komain may be Chimaev vs Usman too. Five rounder with a full camp like Kamaru insisted. Many people would greet this one, including myself, so it's an option, especially if Easy returns and asks for his rematch against Strickland or a title shot against DDP. Of course, it's Ronda Rousey main event, the best female fighter of all time. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't even think about Dana Ward. Connor will be there. Highly anticipated known title fight which will show us what current titanium shin bone McGregor is capable of. He's 35 on a two fight lose streak but he's fighting most non IQ fighter after Cody Nola. It means he still got that puncher chance in an opening reel. Chandler will be 38, one win in last three years over washed Kukui but still number 5 ranked in the world. If Connor makes the work done he'll get his title shot at July when he turns 36. It's his last opportunity and now or never moment. He's training hard recently and drinking hard as well. So we'll see what happens next.